Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nerd video series on GDP Debugger and this is going to be fourth or fifth video of the series and this is going to be a very small video. It's about logging the debugging output like what you see on the terminal. If you want to log that, you can do that. So I already compiled this program. So this is a very simple program. We have node class here and we have created A and B. These two are the nodes and we're just going to print them. C out A dot X, I mean A dot data and we have a b dot data so now i have to recompile it and let's directly jump into it so this is gdb output i'll put breakpoint at main so this is not necessary now this is the command set logging enabled on so remember this command you can note it down if you hit this command it will tell now it is going to write the output to gdb dot text this file will get created on the same place where this binary is and it will copy all the output to this file. So let's run this. Okay, now it is stop date line number 12. Line number 12 is construction of this A. I'll say next, next, and then I'll hit next, and then next. So see, these are the outputs. If I will come out, so we are done. If I will say cat gdb.text, we will see this line number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See, these were the outputs, right? So now it is there in this gdb.txt file. Wait a minute, don't go anywhere. There are many things coming for this because you would need that. Now, let's say we'll go back and break at main. And what if you don't want to store into gdb.txt? If you want to store in your own file, then you have this command, set logging file and then my file dot txt if you'll hit this and then set logging enabled on it will tell you that i'm going to store into my file dot text so this is very clear now onwards it will put everything into my file dot text not the gdb dot text so like this you can place output in your own file now the point is you run multiple times gdb you kill you come out and you then you recompile and then you rerun multiple times right when you are debugging that case you may want to override this my file again and again because the older one maybe you don't want that then what you would want you want to override this then for that the command is set logging override on then it will override whatever is there in that file already so hit enter and if you want to show like what are the logging things you have enabled this is the command show logging it will tell you that okay what are the logging related attributes value so logging is enabled on then logging file is this file and then override is on redirect is off so now you can store your output into the log file so if you learn something new today don't forget to hit the like button dude that would help me a lot thanks for watching guys bye bye take care